What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Let them know what we're doing today. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. Today I am going to be asking Isaiah questions that I'm afraid to know the answers to. Oh. Yeah, so I've got a few questions on here and they're pretty, they're pretty spicy. They're pretty intense. Okay, I'm ready. You ready? How many questions? Uh, I think I have like nine. I'm already getting nervous. I'm already getting hot. Why? <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just getting hot. Guys, if you hear anything in the background, it's my air fryer. I'm cooking food in the middle of doing this video. But anyways, all right. First question is, have you ever been in love with anyone in the past? Uh, True love? I I've said I love you to girls before in the past. True love? I would say nah. Mm. You're like literally my first true love. Like the definition of love. Like oh. you were the first person. Oh, stop. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> All right. Is there any point in our relationship that you wish you can go back and do over? Dang. I feel like that was a good question. That is a good question. Um, Honestly, probably not. No? Probably not because I feel like everything happens for a reason. And I feel like everything unfolded the way that it needed to be in order for us to be where we're at right now. So, like, I wouldn't change anything about our relationship. Like, I'm, I'm content. Like, I'm very happy. Mm, okay. All right. This next question. Ah! Don't be looking! <laughs> this next question is, strip club for the bachelor party? Question mark. Man, why is this the talk when it comes to my bachelor party? Like, I don't know how because many times I have to say Because it's usually the men, and a lot of people ask this I, question. I get that. I get that 100%, and it's the stereotypical thing. But, guys, like, she can tell you. Like, if you really know me, you know that that stuff doesn't appeal to me. And I always tell you, if we want to go to a strip club, we can go together. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't care to go to... I'm not a club type of person. I'm not that type of guy. Like, I like being home. I'm he really homebody. is not. He I'm don't boring. even like going to, like, stores. I'm boring. I'm, I'm an old man. Like, I... Like, like, I'm, I'm old, old man. I'm old, bro. Like, I don't like leaving the house. Especially going out to clubs and stuff like that. Oh, and that's a heavy bill. Like, I'm good off that. Nah. Next question is, have you ever thought about another girl while we were doing stuff? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. not. I feel like, I feel like at that point, you're thinking about cheating. Mm -hmm. Like, that's weird in a way. Like, nah. Okay. I'm good off that. Too much to... Too much I'm focused on to be thinking about other stuff. Period. <laughs> Somebody asked if your car and I were sinking at the same time. Oh my god. Who would you save first? Bruh, ain't no way somebody just asked that. No, I got so many questions about Isaiah's car. Like, would Isaiah choose you over his car? Which is more important? Like, Bruh, all that obviously stuff. Obviously, I'm choosing my car over. Now, imagine. <laughs> obviously, I'm choosing her over my car, guys. A car is materialistic. A car could be gone tomorrow. It could be gone today, God forbid. This right here, like, this, this is forever, all right? Forever. So, like, guys, a car is just a thing. Don't get me wrong. I love it, and it's my hobby. But there's other things that are more important in life than just cars. Her. Next question is, when was the moment that you realized you wanted to marry me? I don't want to be cliche and be like, ooh, high school. High school when I first saw you, when we first made love or whatever. Like, <laughs> honestly, I would probably say maybe like a year into like our relationship and I'm like, yeah, like she's the one. Like I can definitely see myself settling down, having kids, like having a family. I can definitely see this being like a very long-term for everything. So I would say like a, a year into our relationship. A year? Yeah. What about you? I want to know the answer to that. Don't be cliche and be like, oh, the first time we met. Um, That's such a lie when people say that. Marriage? I would say, yeah, like, I think like two, two years. That's what I was going to say, like one to two. Yeah, I feel like I feel one like, was it for me though. Like the first year we were like going through a lot with I the long distance and all of that yeah stuff. but i feel like that's what made me know like when we were doing the long distance and i'm like bro i'm really like going out of my way doing this long distance relationship like staying faithful and all like i felt like that's how i knew like i'm really going through all this so this has to be something like special yeah you know what i mean for me it was more so like fear like i i have really bad well i think i've worked on it a lot but really bad trust issues so i feel like around that time i was kind of just thinking preparing myself if you did leave mm -hmm. like mentally and stuff but you never did no i didn't plan on it either period <laughs> next question is have you ever watched p behind my back the p word yeah the one that runs with corn yeah behind your back mm -hmm. no I, that's another thing like i have her i don't need that and like we get active all right like frequently <laughs> like often 
So there's no need for me to be watching the corn. <laughs> there's no need to just expose I'm just saying, like, because there's, there's no need for the corn. You know what I mean? Like, there's, there's no need for it because I'm getting busy pretty often. So it is what it is, you know? Oh, my gosh. Next question. I only have two more, okay? Uh-huh. What's your biggest fear? My biggest fear, like, in life or in our relationship? Let's say both. Like, one in and one. Like... In life, in life, it was like losing like a loved one, and unfortunately, I already went through that. So I feel like my biggest fear, as far as like, in general, is gone. Like I went through it. In our relationship, I would say probably like if you were to like realize like, oh yeah, like he's not good enough for me. Like I feel like I'm like not good enough for you. That that's what I would fear. What? You say you fear that you're not good enough for me or I would fear like if you broke up with me like yeah you're not good enough for me like we can't be together like I would I fear that. Oh, that would never happen. Are you sure? Yeah, well, we were getting married in like 4 months. Okay, you're not doing it just for YouTube like how some people say. I really don't care about YouTube <laughs> cuz some so people I swear all oh, you guys are getting married for views. Think what nah. y'all want. The haters can think what they want. Y'all are crazy just... with y'all assumptions. Y'all y'all really are. I'm I'm telling you. Yeah. But yeah, that's like in our relationship, that's my biggest fear. We could drop, and social media could drop, and I'd be happy. And we'd still be together. <laughs> she's not lying. And yeah, she's not lying. I'm really not. I yeah. <laughs> appreciate you guys, though. I appreciate the... It's just the haters. Blessed. It's literally just the haters. Like, y'all are just, annoying, bro. But we, yeah. we, we fight through it, and it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, last question is, how would you describe me to your boys if like we've never met before if who never met you like, like my I, boys and you yeah like say you're introducing me to your boys for the first time or like whatever how would you describe me to your boys man she irritating she <laughs> annoying she annoying and irritating no nah, you're no 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 irritating I, I would like honestly like i would probably describe you as like you could fit in with the guys like i would literally tell my friends like yo like she can be one of the guys she's not one of the girlfriends that always have to be like on top of me like the clingy girlfriend like she can just rock out with the guys she's fun she's not a she's not like a, a debbie downer or anything like that like she's down for anything when it comes to the guys except when it comes to car things i was gonna say don't say that because the, i'm not down yeah. for a lot of cars because when we start doing the car stuff that's when she's like all right i'm out i'm gonna take my exit yeah. but honestly like i would say it, i would Tell my guys like yo she could be one of us like she won't be the typical girlfriend Clean. And, yeah and like if let's say like you know because guys talk amongst each other and stuff like that and you know other guys vent to other guys so i would be like bro like if like you whatever you could say in front of me you can say in front of her yeah like she's not gonna go and snitch and tell you know the other girls and be like oh my god like bro like she i ain't even hear nothing that's how she'll take it like whatever oh you're exposing me people are gonna be like she's not a girl's girl it's not even that it's just like if it's we just, start talking like if me yeah. and the guy start talking she'll just be like la 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 like but i don't want like i don't want to hear it. i just mind my business that's like, what i'm saying like she got nothing to do with me then i'm not i didn't hear nothing like that's what i'm saying like she won't pay attention to it she'll just be like la la la, la. she'll walk away or do something like she was like i don't want to hear nothing i don't want to know nothing about what's going on that's between y'all mm -hmm. so like I, I think that's just the, the way i would describe you to like my guys like i don't know like you're you're fun besides the car stuff yeah the car stuff you fear I don't but, like the car stuff. <laughs> yeah, I would say you could definitely be down with the guys. Like, I really don't trip about much. Like, like she, I'm telling you, she's really not the typical <laughs> girlfriend. The stuff that girls get mad at, she really doesn't get mad at. So I'm like blessed <laughs> for that because <laughs> some girls, they be taking it up a notch and they be doing the most, talking about... I, I question some of the things y'all get mad at, honestly. Like, <laughs> I feel like there's no need for that. Thank God she's not like that though. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's that's... This time. Yeah, we're not gonna go into detail. I went into a rant. Is there anything that you want to ask me? Because you got your questions from Instagram. Give me nah. one question from you that you're afraid to ask me. Uh, anything, 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 anything. I'm not afraid to ask you anything, really. Uh, as you oh, shouldn't be. My food done. Yeah, I um, heard are you ready to be a dad? <laughs> well, I've been ready to be. A, I've been ready to be a dad probably like since I was. I'm 26 now. Probably since I was like maybe 23. That's crazy. Since, since 23, I've been wanting a child. But all in God's timing, we had to get married first and all that. And then obviously it's her choice. So when all that lines up, then we can go ahead and have a child. Are you ready for our wedding? I'm like... For I'm, our honeymoon? Yes. Like I'm 100% like, this is a big word for me, ecstatic. I'm ecstatic for our ecstatic? wedding. Ecstatic? I'm ecstatic for our wedding. Ecstatic, ecstatic. Yeah. I'm like mad height, bro. Like I'm, I'm telling you, that day's going to be so lit. Like we're going to turn up together. We're turning up with everybody that's going to be there. Yeah. It's just going to be a lit day overall. It's, it's going to be crazy. Like I'm, I'm ready. Yeah. And I'm ready for my ring. 
<laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> All right, well, with all that being said, guys, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button down below. If you guys want to see a part two, make sure you guys comment down below as well. Anything else? Mm-mm. All right, well, with all that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video.